Evolution of the Robotic Assisted Retrograde Intrarenal Surgery with Avicenna Roboflex to improve functions and user friendliness. Robotic flexible urethrorenoscopy was first attempted by Desai et al. treating only a few patients. Saglam et al. developed the first robotic manipulator which can remotely control all functions of commercially available flexible endoscopes. Advantages of this new robotic master-slave device for the treatment of kidney stones include improved precision with enhancement of stone fragmentation and dusting while reducing operator fatigue and radiation exposure and prolonging endoscope longevity through torque elimination. Together they may allow more efficient treatment of larger volume stones by RA, RIRS eroding the space previously dominated by percutaneous nephrolithotomy. The Avicenna Roboflex is used presently in five urological departments and has been utilized in several live surgical procedures during congresses. To increase the Avicenna Roboflex's surgical user friendliness and functions, continuous development was required. All commercially available flexible urethrorenoscopes can be used, each with customized holders. The surgeon inserts a suitable urethral access sheath and the technician moves the RoboFlex manipulator to the docking position. The flexible urethrorenoscope is introduced into the urethral lumen through the access sheath manually. The instrument handpiece is coupled and locked into the special adapter of the robotic arm. The surgeon sits on and adjusts the ergonomic console chair to view the control panel and use all functions and stores this position into the system memory which permits six users. The flexible urethrorenoscope is manipulated with two joysticks. The right joystick enables precise deflection with a new integrated thumb wheel. The precision of the deflection mechanism is very important. The left joystick enables rotation and in and out movements of the flexible urethrorenoscope. The speed and precision of the rotation movement follows the surgeon's hand movements, fast or slow. The speed of in and out movement is adjusted from the console screen to achieve better joystick control according to the user's preference. Once the endoscope tip reaches the renal pelvis, the calioseal system is navigated to find the stone. The endoscope tip position can be approximately tracked by the rotation, deflection and insertion information displayed on the console screen. The laser fibre actuator holding the laser fibre is inserted into the work channel of the flexible urethrorenoscope which must be in a straight or neutral position which is provided easily by pressing the zero button on the deflection window of the touchscreen. The tracking of the laser fiber tip and precise remote control of the laser fiber are very important for endoscope longevity by preventing the unintended release of laser firing near the scope tip. For safety, the laser cannot shoot when the progress bar color is blue, which warns the operator that the laser fiber tip is very close to the endoscope surface. However, when the progress bar color changes from blue to red, it is safe to activate the laser. The fiber can be advanced via the console touchscreen to the precise distance required from the stone surface, a feature that will gain in importance when treating soft tissue lesions such as urothelial cancer of the upper urinary tract. When the tip of the flexible urethrorenoscope is near the stone, once the power button is pressed, the tip of the laser fiber is automatically advanced to the nearest firing position. Further advancement of the fiber can be performed by the operator using the in-out controls. The foot pedals of laser and fluoroscopy devices are remotely controlled with the new Universal Remote Console Pedal Control Unit. 
the foot pedals of laser and fluoroscopy devices are remotely controlled with the new Universal Remote Console Pedal Control Unit. If high respiratory rate or excursion makes stone fragmentation difficult due to a moving target, some surgeons ask the anaesthetist to reduce tidal volume or request periods of apnea. However, an easier way with a simple pump inflatable balloon compression device works equally well. It may be necessary to inflate the balloon under the compression belt until the respiration movement is ideal for safe work after consulting the anaesthetist for safety. When necessary, the laser fiber can be easily exchanged by the assistant for an appropriately selected accessory to capture and remove fragments to clear the kidney and send samples for analysis. In conclusion, since inception, the incremental improvements incorporated into the Avicenna RoboFlex console described above allows better operator control of key aspects of the surgical environment and procedural aspects, releasing expensive staffing resources leading to cost savings while improving on both safety and efficacy for the patients. Together with elimination of radiation safety protocols and better comfort for the operator when treating large renal stones, efficiency can be improved especially when multiple such procedures are planned in a day's operating. <laughs>